2022 subscriber special. Tonight we're going to be concentrating on the second place prize. The first place prize is a little, you know, everyone knows how to play a Nintendo game. But Terrence and I do realize that maybe we're a little bit spoiled where we live, and not everyone knows exactly A, what this is, and if they do, even how to make it. That's true. What we found out through the past year that we've been doing Chargeback 4 is the fact that people watch us pretty much every continent of the world, and uh, hey, maybe at someday every country in the world. Even though this is a delicacy and a staple in the true White North. What the hell they call it? Great White North? The Great White North. The Great, the great, 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 great North. North. If you're living like New Zealand or maybe Japan, maybe craft dinner's not your thing. You don't know. So that's what we're here to do. We're going to cook this for you. And one other little thing about craft dinner, which you'll know at the end of this video, everyone always asks, how do you afford all those games? I eat a lot of this. Let's cook, man. Let's cook. Now, in order to cook the craft dinner, you have to have the right equipment. A pot, preferably with a lid. A spoon in which to stir. We're not getting anywhere without the mighty KD. That is the most important thing. Yes. We need some butter. Margarine is okay. Milk. We're not making soup, so we have to color that bad boy. Water. Absolutely. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> we need water to boil or else nothing's working. Yep. Alright guys, they do put instructions on these things, so we gotta break it down for you, even though it is uh, it is a national requirement that you know how to make this. I actually think it's in the citizenship it test. It is on the citizenship test, actually. Some people I work with had to take it, and uh, it was, it was, it's like question number two. Oh my god. Capital of Canada, how do you make craft dinner? <laughs> of course. Alright, so in big and bold in the back, we got the nutritional uh, in facts, which we are not going to be focusing on, because this is definitely not... The most healthy thing you can eat, this is what would be a treat. Or for people that don't want to spend a lot of money. Either way. Or you just feel like hurting yourself. Alright, so they have microwavable instructions, which we don't care, because anything that being cooked in a microwave, no. it sucks. So, on the other side, oh my god, here it is. Stovetop directions. So, if you want to get technical with measurements, I put approximately six cups or one and a half liters uh, of water which will boil in this saucepan, it's a pot. And then uh, we're gonna pour this bad boy in here, cook it for seven, eight minutes where it's taste, so it's a little chewy but not too soft. And then once it's all done, we'll go from there. Mike, crack this bad boy open. You know, you peel away this and forget that. Let's get in there. That's and how I do it. Rip it open. Yeah. And then one thing that we couldn't show oh, yes. before. This is what makes Kraft Dinner awesome. Powdered cheese. More on this later. Pop that bad boy in there. And boy of mine, Dave, we used to do this all the time in grade school. You make a fist, and then when you're, right, when you're ready to make the full fist, you break it. Just like that down. Yay! So right off the bat, you want to give it an initial stir. Water's gonna get a little gross, but that's okay. Yep. Uh, also, guys, to make it easier, if you want, put a little dash of salt in. In this case, we're gonna use just a little bit of olive oil, and then that way, we're gonna make this a little easier when it comes to time to boil. Or a teaspoon worth. One to teaspoon. Yep. There you go. That's it, done. You don't need no measuring cups. There's no measuring cups here. Because if you're eating craft dinner, there could be a chance you have no measuring cups. I can't afford measuring cups. Alright guys, we got about 7 to 8 minutes. Keep on stirring, make sure she doesn't boil over, and we'll be back in a minute.
Now, you know, Terrence, you're getting dangerously close to revoking your Canadian citizenship there, as, uh, you know, most of us put the craft dinner in when the water starts to boil. Pop that bad boy in there. But seriously though guys, craft Dinner is so versatile, you could throw it in cold water and then start to boil and it'll still turn out fine. Not a problem. If you have a good stove that gets really hot, like the one that we're using right now, we're not even on high <laughs> and we've already experienced a blow boil over. So when it gets up like this, you don't have to get crazy about it. Mike, man, show us what it's done. That's right, you just stay there and you blow. Blow, 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 and make sure that shit doesn't overflow. And also, very important, guys, whenever you're cooking, don't leave the kitchen like we did. <laughs> and come back, and we have a mass emergency to clean up all this mess that we made. Wait, wait, it's okay, though. You know why? It's craft dinner's first style. It's not our kitchen. Oh, it's not our kitchen. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely cutting that out. <laughs> all right, so we only have a couple more minutes before we're ready to go on to the straining and preparing this for consumption. More to come. All right, let's see if we're ready here. That's perfect. We're good to go. We're good to go. All right, guys. As always, it's good to be safe. The last thing you need to be doing is burning yourself. And considering we are such complete idiots, if we can do it, anybody can. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pour it into the strainer. Keeping in mind, let's stay away from the splash and do it slowly because I do not want to be disfigured. Hook a brother up with some swimming water. Alright. I think we're done with the pot, but we're not. This is where the good stuff comes in. Now what Big Mike's doing right now is he's getting the water out of the uh, craft Dinner because to mix it properly, we're really going to want to make sure that we got all that water out of there. Big Mike, you're good at jerking things. How's it coming? <laughs> we're almost good. It's almost dry. All right. All right, we're good. All right, cool. So now that we've got the water out of it, we're going to pour it back in the original pot. I'm going to help Big Mike out a little bit. Now trust me guys, believe it or not, you can do this by yourself. And here's where the, uh, the measurements come in handy, as in ignoring them. Watch this. Hey Mike, where's that box at? Let's see what Kraft Dinner says. Add one tablespoon of non-hydrated uh, margarine. <laughs> Holy shit, they're really? They're getting half Pacific now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Once upon a time, like, Margarine was actually supposed to be like the poor man's butter, and then they just figured out that it was actually healthy. But then Food Science advanced and they figured out that it wasn't actually healthy yes. because it's edible oil and edible oil fat. We're kicking it old school butter. Now if you really want to get hardcore, check this out. Desi Ghee, this is clarified butter, and this tastes like butter that's in popcorn. Like it's that hardcore. But we're not gonna do this, because this bad boy's like 850 a jar. Quite frankly, that goes against the philosophy that is craft dinner. Say, if you're eating craft dinner, you, you generally don't have a jar of that in your fridge anyway. So. What was that, one tablespoon? A one tablespoon. Yeah, see that? That's yeah. one tablespoon. So what needs to be done is that shit needs to be mixed in really good. Right, the butter melts right away. That's right. It smells good. Kind of funny thing, Big Mike. Mm -hmm. In grade school, me and Dave would be making craft dinner and I had an opening, a window opening between the kitchen and the living room. So I'd stand there so the level would be here so you can see what I was doing. Here's me being an asshole. I'm like, yeah. I suddenly don't want to eat this. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Now the milk. No, oh, so this, this is where a big Mike citizenship could be revoked. Oh. It's never milk first. It is the magic powder. Big Mike, I'll let you make up for it. All right. But, again, let's see what Kraft Dinner says. They're such idiots. They tell you to put milk first. And so after they tell you to put non hydrogenated margarine, they actually want you to put skim milk. Ooh, like you're eating fucking healthy now or something. Now check this out before we get the milk in. Look at this. Mm, it's already awesome. They actually want you to put a third of a cup, which is 75 milliliters of milk. <laughs> Watch this. 
guys. We're good. That's it. We don't even care what it is. <laughs> now, we understand in other parts of the world, not everybody has a milk bag. Big Mike, am I just pulling that out and showing what that is? So we can buy, and I, and I know this isn't just a Canadian thing, but you can buy four liters of milk in three of those. Other ways milk it comes in, cartons, bottles, you know, really hard to pour and get like condensed powder. All the same, man, it's all good. Just look at that. Oh, wait, wait, look at your email. Oh, oh, hey, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, there you go. Look at that consistency. That is absolutely beautiful. But it doesn't necessarily end there. Craft dinner is an absolute mosaic possibility of food. It is a culinary delight. Mike, what can we put in here? My favorite thing to mix in there is ground beef. And I don't mean a little bit of ground beef. I mean you get like over a pound of ground beef. You fry it up and you chop it into tiny little bits. So it's like really, really little tiny balls of meat. And you throw it right in the pot with it and you mix it up. And oh man, and, and, and mix that with ketchup. It's like eating a cheeseburger. Oh my god, <laughs> awesome. Also another fun thing. We heard a lot of things during our 1192 subscriber special. People were giving us like bologna and this and that. And there's so many awesome combinations. My personal favorite, you get some nice hot dogs. You barbecue them if you can. If not, throw them in the oven, throw them in the microwave, boil them, doesn't matter. Cut them small, throw them in, and guess what? Catch up, motherfucker! All right, guys, we're ready to go. Funny thing, we're talking about ketchup and how we both love it so much. We open this beautiful fridge, no ketchup. But you know what? It's not a problem, because craft dinner is a culinary delight. Big Mike, what do we got happening here? We've got salsa. Right. Other things that we can have? Mayonnaise. Soy sauce. Tomato sauce. Possibilities are endless. Cheese whiz. It never ends. All right, Mike. We've almost burned the house down. I think it's time we enjoy. Get this in our stomachs. And then have to go and buy another box of craft dinner because this is the one that we were supposed to send out <laughs> to the contest winner. We could uh, just... Nah, never mind. We'll, no. we'll, we'll get a fresh one. Hey, man, there's always Ziploc bags. That's true. My friend. All right, man. Not bad. All right, guys. The drawing of the mm. contest winner. We'll be right back after these short commercial breaks. <laughs> on our 1192 subscriber special and that's all Terrence and I asked just leave a comment and you're automatically entered and we have come through as we said faces you can trust <laughs> so we are going to cut these up and put them in a hat do it the old the old traditional way the old lottery way and we're gonna draw for the bases loaded cartridge autographed mm -hmm. by Terrence and myself and the lovely second prize, the Craft Dinner Box, once again, autographed by Terrence and myself. And guys, of course, the winners will reach out to you via PM, and you can tell us what you want us to write on it. So, good luck to all those that entered, and thank you. message you want us to write on it. So I guess it's time for the lucky winner. Yep. So everyone is still in here. Thanks to everyone who entered. Yeah, thanks guys. That's really cool. Especially for 
craptacular contests like this, you guys rock either that or you love punishments. Alright, it's right, time! Mario. I feel coming down to one. There it is. That's awesome. That is an awesome <laughs> name. So, the lucky winner of the basis loaded cartridge only for the NES is Zero X Shinobi. Congratulations, brother. We'll be reaching out to you and you can throw it down to us. Right on, man. And just while we're here, I'm going to see what Zero X Shinobi said. I want Skies of Arcadia to. Uh, with a frowning face. Get a little emotional here. Keep your fingers crossed, brother. Yeah. Keep your fingers crossed. But until then, Zero X Shinobi, man, you got us coming your way. Oh, All right. It's, it's, a, it's been a long road coming yeah. to this moment. It's a lot of, a lot of excitement for, for one day. And it's finally here. And I swear, guys, by the time that we actually ship this to you, this will actually be a new box of craft dinner, complete with the content shown earlier in. It's awesome, right? All right, Mike. All right. You ready? All right, I'm digging deep. I'm digging deep. Oh, th this one came right in my hand. I can't, I can't say, I can't say no to this. <laughs> no, man. I hope, I hope I can, I hope I can read, I hope I can read this right. You better read that, man. You're right. I, I was laughing at that name when I wrote it down. It's Raiho Magnifico. Raiho Magnifico. <laughs> That's a great name. All right, let's see what Raiho Hemikiko. Oh my God, guys! Like this page is forever. Raiho Hemikiko writes: Craft dinner, fried hamburger, and ketchup is good, but you haven't truly experienced KD until you've had it with fried bologna, gentlemen. Wow! <laughs> I found your channel via the All Gen Gamers Cast, and uh, powered through all your videos in the last few days. All your vids are most excellent. Oh man, this one is like yes. You do the very hard wits. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait for more. I hope you guys have continued success, especially giving away blockbusters like Basis Loaded for the NES. <laughs> Yo, dude, man, thank you very much. And, and it almost pains me that you mentioned Basis Loaded, but you know what? You also mentioned yeah, Craft Dinner. dinner yeah. It's coming your way, brother. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks again for sticking through our cool yeah. little episode. Uh, that was a, a lot of support for that video. We're Crazy happy that so many people joined in. That was awesome. And thanks, guys. We'll do another one of these in the future, and we'll find even more ridiculous things to give oh, away. I got a room full of crap to give away. Oh, my God. <laughs>